Who the hell are you? Shit. Uh, let's go to the time. What? The time. What, what is it? What time is it? Uh, 10.20. <laughs> nothing, nothing at all. You, you just carry on, please. What, what the fuck are you doing in my house? Uh, <laughs> bit tricky. <laughs> I'll be back in five minutes. You just carry on doing what you're doing, and I'll be right back. Wait, hang on. You can't just walk into another person's house and then just leave. Who are you? Oh, uh, that's not important. I, I'll just be on my way. Yeah, and you, you just carry on doing what you were doing. I'm um, sorry for the inconvenience. But you said you was early. Hmm? What are you early for? <sighs> Nothing. Nothing at all. Fantastic stuff. If you just want to grab the mic next yes, to you, yeah. that'd be grand. Ah, oh, such a good film. That was brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. So you wrote and you directed it. Yes. Um, where did the idea for the script come from? To be honest, I actually don't know anymore because I've... It's been in the back of my head that for a number of years and when I decided to actually make another one, that was just the first one that came to it. Although. The more ideas I had was based on the actual journey to the afterlife because I remember there's a scene we wrote where he's actually showing him round houses and they were crap and they were infested with living people. But so we just actually did the death part of it before we actually did the trying to find him a house because I just thought of death as an estate agent instead of who we all think he is. <laughs> I loved it. It's just, it's just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. The way you just kind of personalised him. Not only is death a man, he uses Apple products. <laughs> Just really, really well thought out. Um, did kind of different elements of the storyline sort of just appear to you as you began to write, or was it kind of all there? You knew where it was going, this lad who wants to kill himself. Basically, well, the way I write is, if I get an idea, I'll, I won't jot anything down or write. The best thing that works for me is to just, when you're going to work or on a trip, is just turn the car radio off and be alone with your thoughts and I tend to find that more stuff comes and when you've got enough ideas, that's when you can sit down and write them all down. That's what works for me. Oh, okay. Um, what did you film on? That was shot on an AF-101, the panny one, that, but it wasn't recorded on it. It was recorded to an Atmos Ninja 2. Uh, so we shot it in ProRes so we could do more things with afterwards. Cool. Okay, cool. Um, and um, how long did it take you to film? Um, we shot it over one day. Um, and luckily, because I work... One day? Yes. Wow. As a cameraman, I was able to call in a lot of favours from my friends, like I got sound man, camera assistants, and things like that. And where did you find your actors? They were all really, really good. I think the audience would agree with me there. They, they really, really got into their roles well, very, very well. Well, a couple of them, I mean, both of them I know um, socially, but how we all met was through the local theatre in Wigan, so they're all regulars on the wards. Which theatre is this? Uh, the one in Wigan, Wigan Little Theatre. Just plug it. <laughs> <laughs> cool. This is also a theatre, three minute theatre, guys. You should come here more often. It's, it's awesome. Anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks. Um, so. Um, is this film going to any festivals? Has it already been to any festivals? Uh, I just got an email back, actually. It's, uh, in January, it uh, plays at the London Short Film Festival. That's the first one we got um, an email from, positively. But like a gentleman said before, it's just so expensive submitting these to film festivals. and You've got such a slim chance of getting in as well. It's very hard. It's a very competitive market. It is. It's very, very true. Um, are, you, you were saying there's um, another part to the film. So he, he says, oh, I'm more like a taxi driver. <laughs> you're just kind of saying he's like an estate agent. Um, and, and you've done this. Have you done the scene where he's going around the houses? Or is no, it that's, that's never been really made. It's just an idea that's on the computer. I've never developed it or wrote it or anything. Do it. It sounds <laughs> really good. <laughs> cool. Um, OK, are there any questions from the audience? No, I didn't actually, no, um, but luckily, as I did a second draft of it, once I had people who were up for it, that's when I was able to personalise it to them more and make death more northern. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent remit. <laughs> um, I think there's another question around here. So, oh, there. Honestly, check it out because I thought, my God, has he seen it and been like inspired? 
No, I've never heard of it until you said it. Yeah, really. you should definitely not look at it. But it makes a change because it's the third suicide film of the night, at least it was on there. <laughs> <laughs> it brings it up yeah. level kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, was really, it was really good though, I really enjoyed it, it was hilarious. I quite, I quite like that you kind of get that sort of, I like to call it a cosmic connection, cosmic <laughs> cultural connection, where you, you get two completely different creatives and they can be either in the same region or, or a different side of the world and they'll have really similar acts at similar times and one hasn't seen the other, I, I quite like how that exists in the universe. But, um, are there any other questions from the audience? Yes. Absolutely brilliant. What's up next? Um, we've just finished a feature, actually. Um, we're definitely we're with black comedy again, but this time it's about executions. <laughs> nice. Basically, uh, going on from what you were saying about X Factor, and I'm going to bash it there. Um, I'll give you a brief overview. We've already shot it. We're in post production now. We got 35 grand from the co-op for BYFA. And uh, it's basically uh, someone commits a crime that in, under this hidden law in England you can still be executed for. <coughs> uh, and it starts getting more and more media attention. And by the end of it, they've sold the TV rights to it. And it becomes the biggest pay-per-view event ever in the world. And it becomes the biggest reality TV show that England's ever seen. So they make people ring up to vote for his last meal. Uh, what he should be wearing. When he comes out to be executed, he's covered in sponsorship. <laughs> so, lots of little crude and sick jokes like that. They're very similar in that vein. Kind of very dark, dark, yes. dark humour. I like that. Very, very dry, very, very witty. Um, cool. Are there any other questions? Yes. Just going um, on to that. what you said then about your, your feature, just so we can follow and look out because I'd be very interested. What's it called? The Last British Execution. Yeah. You didn't call it the Execution Plan. No. <laughs> but the, act me up the actual <laughs> event in the film is called X Day, so. Yeah, you don't. The last thing you want is Simon Cowell on your back. No, no, he's got yeah. deeper pockets than me. You play legal right to satire. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> you can't yeah. write legal right to satire. There's no, there's no, there's no comeback on that. If Bryce right, and Ellis can feature characters in book in these books who actually exist, doing stuff that they should, they wouldn't want to be doing, you play legal right to satire. I'm pretty certain you could. Cool. There you go, filmmakers. Uh, you can take the mic out of Simon Cowell if you would like. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. <laughs> Any other questions? Well, it might just be me, but don't you think Death sounds like Jim Bowen from Bullseye? There is what you I never made that connection before. There you go. It's a new one. Use it in your marketing. As you've never seen him before, it's not actually him. Yes. I can't sort of know what it reminded me a little bit of the kind of League of Gentlemen sort of northern humour, very dark. Do you kind of do you take any inspiration from anything like that or anything you've seen in the past? <coughs> Off the top of my head, no. Um, I mean, I, I do watch a lot of comedy and I write a lot of comedy, so I, I could subconsciously have taken it as inspiration, but off the top of my head, I've never made any links to anything that I've seen or wanted to take on board. You're from oh. the north of England? Yeah. That'll be it then. Don't <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. It is kind of like very, very dark, shameless. <laughs> It wasn't filmed in Gorton, was it? No, 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 okay. no. no. Where, where was it filmed? Wigan. Okay, so it was filmed in Wigan. That's yes, local. Well, thanks for coming all the way from Wigan. No worries. Oh, great one. Um, are there any other questions? Oh, I see a hand. I've just googled um, last British execution, and all I can find is filmmaker roles brackets underscore filmmaker role ID equals one. What's your <laughs> that's, that's a new one to me. I don't know what that one is. Well, it, 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 it's MySpace, and that's the only thing that looks relevant. So oh, that's a very old one because we the, the execution one we've been trying to make for a number of years. The script was written way back in. I had the idea back in 2004, right. so it's been. I've been trying to get it made for ages. And luckily, we've only just managed to get the funding last this year to make it in the summer just gone. So at the moment, it's we've not put it out there a lot at all. But hopefully, in the next, I think our deadline to finish it is around March, April time. That's when we'll start really showing what we've done. Right. Great. Well, I'm a web designer, so give us a call. If you, uh, <laughs> <laughs> give me a link. Up. Nice. <laughs> um, all right. I've got a question at the back. Uh, just want to ask, how many minutes is the next film? The execution one, yes. uh, around the 90 minute mark. 
Nice grisly one. Proper feature gate even too. I don't know, just touch your leg then. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I should tell you. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> it's just think you're in your living room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. It's so cosy. Gina and John, thank you. It's really lovely. <laughs> too lovely. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm a bit embarrassed now. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, Ian. No, no, thank you. Cheers.